All right, guys. Test number two. Gonna go through. Yeah, yeah. Well. All right. As soon as the coolant starts going, we will hit play. There it is. I'm going to hold the spindle down. Trusting that the machine is doing what it's supposed to. Now we're going to actually machine through the full create material. Tell you what, man, that Z axis being powered on here is amazing. Now, I may not have, uh, there it is, it stays right above the piece, it will go down. And it would start working on the second hole. And there it goes. It would be doing that second hole right now. I think I you need covered. to put my <laughs> shower curtains up now. I'm finally going to start making chips. Yeah, and, I feel uh, like I'm covered. Can't have them going all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my half inch drill bit. And Actually, I have better things than that. Here, this is a one half inch bit, milling bit. It's probably got some burrs. I really beat this one up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me get, get a clean half. Here's a half inch. Why don't you clean out the hole? It's, uh... I may have a tiny bit of backlash, but really what's going to go in it is a half inch threaded rod which goes in fine. There's a couple burrs that make the uh, the milling bit maybe hang up a tiny bit. It wants to. <laughs> Alright, well um, there might be a tiny bit of backlash that's creating my holes um, in just the tiniest imperfection. So the real true one half inch bit didn't go down in, but, um, it's really, these holes are slotted out for a one half inch threaded rod, which goes through no problem. Cause that's, what's going to put it on the table and allow me to secure it in place to do the secondary machining. So, uh, at this point, I'm actually ready to put my first full-size piece of stock in here and give that a whirl because this came out beautifully. Okay. <laughs> 